verse 20. But she said to them, do not call me Naomi. The name Naomi, and we saw this in our first sermon on the book of Ruth, is translated in a variety of ways by scholars. Some say beautiful, sweet, pleasant, lovely, something like that. And then some scholars take the I at the end of her name to be possessive, and so it would be my sweetness or my pleasantness, etc. But the I at the end of this name may be a reference to Jehovah, because the name Jehovah is yod Hey vav Hey. That Yod is like an I. It's the beginning of his name. And so it would be pleasantness of the Lord. And this is certainly what is intended for a reason that we're going to see in a moment. But because of her afflictions and trials, she asked them to not call her Naomi anymore. It is no longer a fitting name for who she has become. Verse 20 goes on, call me Mara. Instead of pleasantness of the Lord, she has to be called Mara, which means bitter. In hearing her name repeated time and time again as she encountered these women of Bethlehem, she could only think that it was no longer appropriate. The Lord, the covenant God of Israel, was distant from her, and she felt the pain of it each time that her name was repeated. And so a change to reflect her sad state was needed. Call me bitter. Interestingly, the way that the name is recorded is not the normal Hebrew form of the word. It is lacking the letter H, or in Hebrew, He, at the end of her name, which is the same letter which was added to both Abraham and Sarah's name as a sign of covenant grace. It is as if she is outside of the Lord's covenant provision, wallowing in her own bitterness. Verse 20 continues, For the Almighty has dealt very bitterly with me. Only in the light of interpreting her name, pleasantness of the Lord, can the full implication of what she says in this verse be properly understood. Instead of being pleasantness of the Lord, who is the one who monitors the covenant and the covenant people, she is bitter from the Almighty, the one who bestows or withholds fruitfulness. It is a double play on her name, bitter instead of pleasant, and affliction from the Almighty instead of grace from the Lord. Her words are almost a mirror of the anguish that Job himself once felt after his many, many afflictions. In Job 27, we read this, As God lives, who has taken away my justice, and the Almighty, who has made my soul bitter. Both of these people say, failed to see that the kindness of the Lord was just around the corner. Thinking they were the objects of God's wrath, they had misinterpreted the sad and troublesome hardships that they had faced. What seemed at the time to be harsh and cruel was in due time to be replaced with joy and with comfort. But even more, the troubles they faced had served a larger purpose as their lives had been used to show us the greater and often unseen hand of God as he unfolds history in a way which displays his sovereignty and his redemptive plans for us. 